Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make these two cards. If you haven't checked out the previous video, I do go step by step to show you how to color up the pumpkins like they are in this video. I'll have that video linked below if you want to check it out. We are using my digital stamp, Pumpkin Spice. It features seven files, so you get a variety of pumpkins. You'll get the pumpkin with the coffee mug and the pumpkin spice, so you can create some fun cards. And we're going to make two of them today. So you can purchase these images on my website, nottoshabbyshop.com. So let's head on over to the craft table and get started. We're going to use the new Whimsy Slimline Card Builder die. This die has wonky stitch and it has a circle, an oval, and a square with wonky stitching. And today I chose to use the square. I'm going to use some pattern paper on the inside. I have all my pumpkins cut out and ready to go for future projects. So my card base here is the same size as this whimsy die. So that made it easy to measure out. I cut the squares out in the middle and used pattern paper to match my cup. So all I have to do is add some glue and add my sentiment. I used this die from MFT to cut out my sentiment. And I forgot the exact name of this die, but it's something like a slanted um, sentiment strip die. I'll have it linked in the description box. I do have one available in my shop. And it happened to be the perfect size for the sentiments that come in the stamp set here. Um, so I'm gonna choose which one I want for this card. And then I can use another sentiment for another card that I'll be making. This would make a great shaker card. It's a nice thick frame that I have going on. I should have thought of that. I would have done that right now. <laughs> but it's too late. I added, added the glue already. My video stopped recording and I didn't notice. Um, I'm not sure if it got where I was gluing down my card panel. Uh, I used the art glitter glue to glue down my frame here and the inside of my card. These four are these three little squares here. I like using this Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station magnetic board to hold down my card while it's drying. Um, it allows it to dry flat and I really like that. This mat is actually meant for stenciling to hold down your stencil while you're ink blending. Um, I love it for that but I always use it for this reason and I just love that. And If you are interested in picking one up I do have it listed in my Amazon store. It's linked in the description box all the way at the bottom and it's under tools. Here are my sentiments ready to go. So I'm going to use these two images here and I'm going to put them in the corner. And I'll pop those up with foam tape. So I have those facing there. Um, I could use You Had Me at Pumpkin Spice. That would go really nicely. You coffee pumpkins equals happiness. I like that one a lot. And pumpkin spice everything. So let's see. You can move these two images closer together. So this one can fit. I really like this sentiment here. And since I have the coffee in here, I think I want to use this sentiment. And I'll leave this sentiment for my other card over here. So let's glue these two together and then we can pop them up. That looks good. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some foam tape. I also went ahead and added some foam tape to the sentiment 
and we'll just adhere our images down. Since there is a lot of real estate on this card, I decided to add some sequence to add a little bit of more interest. And that will complete this card. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have the two images left over to make a cute card. I think I'll leave a little this one really plain and simple with white space and the sentiments. I think it looks cute already so we'll whip up something really fast. So I'm going to cut my panel down with a wonky stitch. I used my Avery L wonky stitch die. I don't have this one in stock but if you're looking for a wonky stitch die I do have a great one from Cat Scrappiness that is in the shop. I'll have it linked down below for you. I want some like ink splatters. Now I can just do some ink flicks with a paint brush. Um, but I do have a new release out that has some splatters. So actually two of my stamp sets have splatters that you could use. So we've got the finer uh, splatter here from the Pumpkin Spice Everything stamp set. And then for the fall gnomes, there's two here. So I'm thinking about using one of these. And I'm just going to use black ink. I want to put some black and white stripes on the card, maybe on the edge. And I don't have any black and white striped paper, but I'm going to color my own with Copic markers. I saw that on a video recently and I thought that was a great idea to make your own black and white striped paper. So I'm just going to ink this up with the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And I'm just going to splash on some of this. So. And I'll turn my um, stamp around so it doesn't look the same each time. So I have my pumpkins together like this. And I did cover up one of the splashes, so let me put one on top. That looks really neat. Get my pumpkins situated how I want them. And then I'll have my sentiment at the top there. I'm going to use my stamp scrubber from Picky Fence Studio. I like using this scrubber, especially when I use the inks that kind of stain your stamps. Kind of scrub off the ink and then dry it up with my stamp chamois. Um, I'll link the scrubber down below. It's in my shop. So I'm going to get my card base. So let's see. I want to do some black and white stripes on this card. So this is going to go in the center and I want to do some black and white stripes on the side. So I'm just going to take a black marker. I'm not even going to use my Copic. I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir marker because I don't hardly use these. And I like to use these for backgrounds and stuff like this. I'm going to put something underneath here so I don't get ink all over this. And I can use this handy ruler. to get my lines, I don't know if this will come in handy or not, but we can hold the, my paper down with this. There's a nice grid on this mat, but I don't want the lines to look very straight anyways, but kind of like a guide. I can kind of use that as a guide. I'll get ink all over the ruler, but I'm not too worried about that. You can wipe it off with some alcohol. And I'm just going to 
and then maybe I'll leave one block white. This will kind of be like a guide. Like that. And I am getting ink on my mat anyways, but I'll show you that it does clean off easily with some rubbing alcohol. I forgot to put the paper under there, didn't I? Silly me. Okay, so there's our stripes, our organic stripes. And that's just gonna peek out. You know what, I wish I wouldn't have done that because now you can see where I left off right there. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm, I might have to start over. So I got some rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe up the marker. And next time I will put the sheet down. I think I'm just gonna eyeball it like that. Yeah, and make thinner stripes. So let me get out a new piece of paper and let's try this again. Sometimes practice makes perfect. So I'll just use this to hold down my paper. I'll get it lined up. Oh gosh, now I got now I got nail polish on my card. Okay, we'll flip it, flip it over. All is not lost. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm not gonna worry about making it straight. Okay, let's check. Okay, that's as, well, I think I can go one more. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna go. I hope this is gonna look good. This is an experiment, for sure. So I'm gonna have to line this up And you think, hope that looks okay. I wonder if I should do the stripes on the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna do one side. Let's just go for it. Okay, let's add our glue. This is just having fun with card making, right? Just experimenting. I think it's fun. Okay, so let's try to line this up. That's why I got the, the liquid adhesive. So I can wiggle it around. Glue oozing out. I did put too much glue on there. But I have one of those glue erasers so I can, once it's dry, you just take the glue eraser and I'll take that right off. So I use my magnets to hold it down. So it dries nice and flat. Push that down. Get the glue smushed down. Okay, so, and plus this glue dries clear. So, hoping that dries okay. Then we'll have our sentiment up here. We can glue our two little pumpkins together while this is drying. And I want them on the side like that together. So 
So I'm going to add some glue to the back of one of these and just glue them roughly together. Make sure they're inside the card frame here. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't put this down because it actually goes this way. It actually goes this way on how I stamp those, I think. Oh no, I'm not sure, does it? What the heck did I do? Okay, I just glued the pumpkins weird. That's all. Okay, so we'll have it like this. And then we'll have it like that. Okay, I think I like the stripes on the side better anyways. Okay. So we'll put some foam tape on the back of this. I'm going to add my card panel onto my card base before I add my sentiment and image. I'm going to use the Misty to line this up because I'm not having a very um, good good day. I keep, keep having mistakes and I don't want to take any chances here. So here's one of those erasers to get the glue off of your card panel. This is listed in my Amazon store if you are looking for this item. So you just lightly erase the glue and then it kind of rolls off. So I've got my foam tape on the back here and let's just glue down our our image and our sentiment and we will almost be finished with this card. So I can have the sentiment covering up the stripes or right here. I think I'm not gonna, well I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, so now that will complete this card. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your comments down below. I'll have everything listed in the description box for you. Thanks for stopping by guys, and I'll catch you real soon in the next video. Bye guys.